Hello, and welcome to Conservator's Corner. This is a video series devoted to the care and research of the collection of the Detroit Institute of Arts. My name is Allison Slinker, and I am currently the third year graduate intern in objects conservation here at the DIA. At the DIA, we have conservation labs dedicated to the care of paintings, objects, paper, and textiles. To aid in the research and treatment of the collection, we also have a conservation scientist and an imaging specialist. A mount maker and two paper care specialists are part of the conservation department as well. Prior to starting this internship, I was completing coursework at the Garment Art Conservation Department at SUNY Buffalo State College in Buffalo, New York for the past two years. This year, the third year of my program, is a 12-month long intensive internship to supplement my academic training and coursework. My role as a graduate level intern in conservation is to work with the conservators, conservation scientists, and imaging specialists to complete conservation treatments, perform scientific research, and assist with other lab and department projects all as part of my graduate school training. My role as an intern corresponds directly with the responsibilities that conservators at the DIA and other museums have. One of those responsibilities is exhibition preparation. A conservator's role in exhibition preparation involves a lot of collaboration with other departments and people at the museum including the collections management department, the curator, the museum's mount maker, the registration department, and the exhibition department, just to name a few. Often the curator's vision helps steer what artworks and cultural heritage are considered for an exhibition, and it's a conservator's job to determine if those pieces can be safely displayed and look their best. Conservators then work with many other museum staff to plan out how the artwork will be displayed in the museum's galleries and get those pieces ready for display. Recently, I had the opportunity to assist with the installation of the newly opened Contemporary Exhibition of Works in the DIA Collection, Experience and Expression. My role was to review many of the three-dimensional objects in the exhibition and make sure they were ready for display. That included examining and writing reports on each piece in order to document its condition prior to its installation. Writing these reports is important for understanding each artwork and provides the conservator with insights and knowledge to help guide other staff when installing each piece. I also worked with Jim Storm, the museum's mount maker, to ensure the sculptures looked their best and could be safely displayed. Mounts are incredibly important for keeping both artwork and visitors safe. Additionally, I performed treatments on artworks that required it. One such treatment was on this stunning textile by the Jamaican-born artist Ebony Patterson. The piece has dozens of knotted embroidery threads that cascade down from the jacquard panel. In storage, some of the threads had become tangled together, so I carefully worked to untangle and place each one in order to show the work the way Patterson intended. Patterson works frequently in mixed media and explores themes of visibility and invisibility, gender norms, Black youth culture, race, and class in her practice. Her artwork is often vibrantly colorful and richly ornamented to draw in viewers and confront them with harsh truths and realities of our world. Patterson's artistic practice aims to immerse the audience physically, emotionally, and psychologically within the work so they become aware of their own body and ask the viewer to be fully present as they take in her artworks. Here, you can see a before and after of what the piece looked like as a result of the treatment. Once all of the works in the exhibition and their mounts were ready, they were installed in the gallery by the collections managers and technicians. Installing an exhibition takes many days, even weeks or months, depending on the scale. This exhibition took several weeks to prepare the gallery, hang and install the art, and put up all the finishing touches. Experience and Expression is a small selection of works acquired by the DIA over the past decade as generous gifts or by purchase. This installation has been divided into three sections, which explore the use of abstraction and figuration, the experimentation with traditional and novel materials, and the definition of self and others. All these works invite you to look closely, to ask questions, and to connect with your experiences. To create the art of our time, artists often draw on their own experiences of the world, from the personal to the political, from the aesthetic to the commercial, from the individual to the collective, 
from the spiritual to the material. It is important to recognize these varied perspectives now more than ever. I'd like to highlight that more than half of the artworks and experience and expression are by Black artists from around the world. Each brings a unique perspective on what it means to be a person of color in today's world, and it is a privilege for us to share their vision and their artwork with you. Experience and Expression open January 30th and will be on display in the DIA's second floor special exhibitions gallery in the south wing of the building until October 2021. To visit the museum and see the exhibition in person yourself, you can schedule a visit at the museum's website at dia.org. Be safe and I hope to see you at the DIA soon.